The participation of women in politics and leadership is key. Government and civic society are on a drive to ensure that women take up leadership positions. This has been done through a training workshop meant to capacitate aspiring women politicians. Women from all political parties convened as they discussed the various issues that are a barrier to the participation of women in politics and leadership. Coming from a background uh, that is women from all political parties and uh, civic society, we have decided to come and uh, plan for a way forward to increase women participation in Zimbabwe. The main objective of this workshop uh, is a workshop which has been called by WOSA, it's a conference uh, for women, women from the 10 provinces across the political divide, uh, so that we look into issues uh, that causes the decrease of women in parliament. We want to look on issues that will increase women in parliament, the issues like having the 50-50, which we have agreed that if the parties do not take that uh, as something that it should be a, a, a basic requirement that a party should do, at least let's say if we're talking about 50, bring 50-50 from the party, it will be difficult for this police to sell through parliament because many are more and it will never pass. So we, we have agreed that parties are the ones we should align their constitution to uh, favor us as women so that every party should bring 50-50 on uh, proportion or, or, or men and women. And if that happens at party level, I know that everything will go well. Today we have converged as women of Zimbabwe, represented by women political leaders from political parties, women from civil society organizations, women who are working in various communities in all 10 provinces of Zimbabwe through the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe membership. We have come together to build consensus around the electoral reforms that women want to see as we build up to the 2023 elections and any by-elections that can emerge during this period. A few women are entering into the political arena. The numbers of women who are venturing into politics have continuously been dwindling and this has been worrying to the government and civic society. In terms of our political field, some of the women are afraid to participate. Some are saying the level is not correct or it's not leveled or it's not good for women participation. And because of our patriarchy, our culture and our religion, some of the women are not able to come and participate. So our numbers are going down each and every year when we approach the elections. So there are so many challenges which uh, uh, hinders women to participate. And we have observed elections and when we look at women's political participation, the legal framework uh, that is currently at play at times is barriers and hindrances that do not fully adequately uh, allow for inclusivity in women's political participation. I think that there are few women entering into politics is one exposure. Uh, you know men, they uh, go to you know bars, they go, they meet uh, in sports, uh, in, uh, in clubs and everywhere, but as for women, we don't have that exposure. So we are not capacitated, uh, you know, psychologically to face the challenges that we meet. That is point number one. Point number two, we, there is a fear uh, in women uh, about uh, the social media attack, you know, attack from media. Sometimes we get negative publicity and most women are not uh, prepared to face those uh, intimidatory challenges. And also, as you know, men normally intimidate uh, women. And also women are underrepresented because uh, we have, uh, in Zimbabwe, we have got a culturally, we have a patriarchal society that impedes women to participate in, in, uh, in elections. The government of Zimbabwe has ensured the participation of women through proportional representation and the quota system. 
These measures are meant to warrant the participation of women in leadership. Firstly, I think we've got our proportional representation, the issue of 60 seats, which we have in our constitution. So I think we have to amend the electoral law to uh, make sure that when we go for the elections, the issue of the quota system, instead of us continuing to uh, give it two terms, I think we must try by all means to make sure that we have got reserved seats like what uh, other countries like Rwanda is doing. They have got the 60 seats, they've got a quota system, and they've got also a first pass the post. So I think as a nation, we must make sure that out of the 210 seats, we also try by all means to make sure that we have got 105 women and we have got 105 male, so that our parliament is gender sensitive. We're having a women's national dialogue uh, on electoral reforms Basically, the meeting is bringing all women from the various political parties that sit within parliament, uh, women uh, from the political parties that are represented in the polit polar structure, women in civil society organizations, the religious institutions, women civil society organizations, to begin a conversation towards consensus building on critical reforms that need to happen to create a conducive environment for women's electoral participation towards the 2023 elections. As a party, what we are doing is we are simply trying to encourage women to participate by having workshops and we are also uh, uh, capacitating them, trying to capacitate them so that they become at least financially stable and also we are trying by all means you you know, to take those who have, uh, have two terms uh, in, in the uh, PR, that is the, in the Senate and the uh, Law Assembly, uh, so that maybe they can join the uh, hybrid way, the first part, the post, so that they can join uh, the competition with other men and leave for other women to join the uh, PR, so that maybe by that we can increase the number of women lobby for proportional representation as a mode of electoral processes and we have seen that women are strategically deployed in many spheres that are strategic for increasing women's participation so for those who are in Poland they will also play their role in influencing um, political parties for those who are in political parties to also begin to mentor other women to participate and opening up space and creating space. We are excited that we've begun to see women political leaders also looking into opening up the quota system to new young women and other women who did not benefit previously in the previous election and the issue of safeguarding women as they participate in political and electoral processes. The inclusion of women should start from party structures through nomination of women for contestation of key positions of leadership. The only issue that we see that speaks to women is uh, gender parity when it comes to representation at uh, ZEC commissioners, when we also look at uh, women's representation at Senate and the various quota systems that have uh, been introduced. But that's not the only thing that uh, can be improved in terms of the electoral environment. We need to look at other uh, issues at play that also make it difficult or that are barriers to women's participation. How we do voter education, how the environment is uh, even at um, political party level, how many women are being nominated by their own political parties uh, for the primary election so that they actually contest in elections. Our observation is that over the years the numbers have been fewer when we look at uh, those women that are actually contesting. So we have more numbers of women that are through proportional representation or those that are nominated through the quota system, but the actual contestants have been lower. So even at political party level, there needs to be some legal framework uh, or policy framework that actually compels political parties to nominate uh, women so that we have more women contesting as elections. There is this issue, the 
patriarchal belief by women that they are places in the kitchen to look for after children and the men take advantage of this belief that we have as women. So I think we need more workshops, more of these workshops so that uh, we empower women uh, to like to stand. I think that is contributing to why women are getting less in parliament by the day. From the reflections that we have been getting from different political party formations, we still see that there are political party barriers that affect the positioning of women in political parties. And we can see that there are also lack of resources for women to pull sustainable uh, campaigns that can ensure that the electorate can come on board and support them as strong candidates. We have seen patriarchy coming in, women being divided against each other, intergenerational conflicts that are being set where women are set up against each other. There has been a strong call during the training workshop for the media to portray women politicians in a progressive way. Women's political participation remains at a bare minimum and the media is a key player in ensuring the full participation of women in politics. This can be done through the way the media report and portray women in politics either in print electronic as well as social media Tukuto kumbirao kuva kwa muri vanhu veku media kuti dai maita more and more coverage of my success stories Emma women are ripo mu politics more cover is well most of the positive sides ekupinda mu politics because at the end of the day everything is political Togo na kuchika sema dzimai kuti hatikwanisa kupinda mu zvinzvimbo dze politics decision-making uh, uh, processes akawanda uh, ikoko ku politics. Saka zwata chingo kumbira kuti muite coverage ya kanyanya ye zvinu zviri very positive. Zviri negative muita zvisho. So that you encourage more and more women kutiwa pinde muma leadership positions, especially politics. Women have also shied away from the political participation because the political culture that is being witnessed in Zimbabwe, it is really very violent. It has a way where it degrades women. And we can see that even on media coverage, whether it's social media or mainstream media, we still see that there is, part, there is coverage of women political leaders on the negative and non coverage of them. So we see that there is still gap in terms of the electorate or registered voters to be to believe that women are strong candidates and they can lead. The cyberbullying, the trolling, the other uh, issues that make it uh, a barrier or make it difficult for women uh, to uh, campaign and to contest. So these are issues that need to be dealt with. But when we look at our framework, there are no real sanctions. Uh, to trolling a woman who is contesting. We do have the political party's code of conduct, but it is a voluntary code of conduct. I'll repeat again, it is a voluntary code of conduct. So what happens, we've noticed that whilst there could be a number of electoral malpractices that become a barrier for women's political participation, women in the political parties may shy away from reporting these cases because the framework is not conducive enough or they don't feel that the remedies really solve their issues. So there have been a number of withdrawal of cases and very few cases actually go through the system and they get resolutions to these challenges. So in today's meeting we are actually saying let's have a conversation as women and say what are these uh, gaps uh, besides the ones that I've just mentioned that we feel need to be res resolved and reformed at various level. So it could be the law, it could be the environment, it could be the institutions that we work with that need some administrative practices change to ensure that women feel uh, they are included in issues to do with elections. Yeah, the media... It could play a role, you could say, I skunya no cover, Madzimai, uh, Arimu politics. Most of um, Madzimai Arimu politics are cover negativity, positivity, our cover. Okay, so one moon which is Maya Kunzi, I eat a headline, Kajinzi Jinja Kashat, Jurofa, so I eat a good Madzimai Majinji, Achke, 
kupinda into politics thinking kuti vachas or taur was sirisho um tikada kutarisa special pa social media as well pa social media mazo ano pane chia chino nzi cropping but one or the other picture, I'm sorry, I'm and they will portray the wrong image altogether. This is also should go to it out. It might be my and politics. One of the key strategies that came out during the deliberations was on how stakeholders can work with the media, so that journalists amplify profile and even make headline stories of women. Other strategies that have emerged are around working in partnership with the media so that the media also play the role to amplify, to profile, to make visible women's significant participation in Zimbabwe. Um is special for social media as well. But social media mazwano panichia chinon zi cropping. But one or the other picture I'm sorry I'm moon and they will portray the wrong image altogether. Political participation of women sometimes puts a lot of emotional pressure on them and this can affect women mentally, resulting in emotional stress. There are also issues that are emerging around wellness, psychosocial support and counselling services for women who are in political spaces because we are witnessing women being depressed, women dying, dying because of stress-related diseases or, or ailments because they are political leaders. Reflections from the workshop point to the fact that women shun politics because they lack knowledge on political matters. A call has thus been made to make sure that women have the requisite information that will create a platform for their full participation. By reflection, there is an issue that has come in, which is an issue of ensuring that we bridge the gap of lack of access to information, because it has been acknowledged that women are not participating because they don't know. While we constitute 54% uh, of registered voters, other participation opportunities, women are not aware of them in terms of how do you participate, what are the requirements, what kind of support do you need, which pathway can you take. So political leadership, education, training women, in the long term we also seen some political leaders recommending that even our education curriculum need to begin to take into to take in issues of uh, electoral participation political participation so that we have a continuity and sustainable way of re-socializing our Zimbabwean society towards women's full and equal participation uh, the point that I think is uh, of much importance is uh, we need to have uh, much uh, voter education what I mean by voter education is that, uh, like I, I alluded earlier on, I was saying that uh, we do have a patriarchal society. And mostly if we look at the at, at disaggregation of uh, people who are registered to vote, we see that uh, most, of those, most of those people who are registered to vote, they are mainly men uh, and they are mainly older people. So we, we have got less number of youth who are registered to vote. In this case, I'm saying that uh, if we have youth, uh, if you have the youth, young people and young men who are registered to vote, those people are more advanced and they are more open-minded in such a way that they will be able to vote for women. The major hindrance to the participation of women in politics has been resource constraints. Women find it difficult to finance political campaigns and this has led to the continuous drop in numbers of women in politics. We also need to look at the other hindrances to do with political campaigning, for instance. We know that resources matter when it comes to uh, financing a political campaign. So what infrastructure do we have to support women candidates so that they are able to contest and campaign and become visible candidates that people can actually vote for? <laughs> Financial 
budget wise mupati mawo tozotarisa zve budget renyika tine ministry yedu ye women's affairs ndee zvipi zviri kuiswa mbudget zvinoita kuti simudzire kupartisipate kwa madzimai ndipe zvichendra nokuti vawaniswa zvishandiso nezvikwanisiro the convening will craft a policy document that will put forward suggestions of ensuring the full participation of women. Lack of information. There's lack of information. And we are advocating as the ZANU-PF Women's League to, for uh, the government to introduce uh, a subject that is aligned to politics so that our children are developed at young age to like politics and to take politics as a career as well so maybe yes it's a it's a it's a long uh, it's a long process but i think that will help uh, them to be capacitated empowered and empowered because what uh, women fear is lack of empowerment uh, they, they cannot face their they, they don't have the resource to face their male counterparts uh, when they are elections so i think that was about kana yatingati position paper kana kuti proposal yedu yema reforms anosanganisira handataura haya of course na mamwe o ma reforms akadaro riri pa office ya his excellence as we speak so mberi kunoinda tinoda kunoita further ma discussion ekonoti zvinotoreka ndi zvipi sokuziva kwenyu electoral reform inotori pamberi pematari sokutaura kwatiri kuita kuno saka zvaka kosha kuti tenda kunoita strategize kuti tinopinda sei tinokanda ose eh, ma, ma, ma points edu atakareiza kuti tone kuti zvinogona here kugamchirika kuti sarudzo dzinouya dze dze 2023 dzitike pachwani kwa madzimai akawanda so it's really building a, um, a consensus document that will be used by women to lobby parliament, to lobby the various um, institutions like the electoral management body, to lobby the political parties because those are the main actors also in terms of uh, political part uh, participation, to also lobby the new infrastructure like the Poland mechanism that has been put in place uh, as an institution for political conversation. Uh, and then also building a roadmap that we feel as women is one of the critical things that is missing within um, this um, electoral reform agenda. There is um, no clarity in terms of process, no clear milestones, no time frame to it. So we feel that we can actually set the pace by agreeing what it is that we want and then lobby it through the various institutions that are leading the process.